to Block TV, where every day our team members, and on occasion somebody other than Zachy Hennessy, scours the World Wide Web to bring you anything and everything that's trending. Today, shocker, it's Zachy. Yes! Did I? <laughs> I did it. I made it back. You I had to back. fight really to get this spot in SMB. I'm just kidding. Suck my blockchain, baby. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> so earlier today, Binance, you know, the big crypto exchange, they tweeted a picture of what looks like a series of confections of some sort in a box okay. with the caption, to the moon, dot, 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 cake, rocket ship emoji, hashtag Binance. Now this raises several questions. First of all, what is a moon cake? Now, I've heard of moon pies, but as far as I'm aware, the pie's fluffier and more bread-like cousin has not broken into the lunar arena as of yet. And secondly, why place the rocket ship emoji after the word cake when it should instead be after the word moon? What social media manager okayed this abhorrent misuse of the rocket ship emoji? And third of all, why are we standing here discussing cake when the objects shown in the picture resemble at best hideous but edible globs of shaped marzipan and at worst various assorted soaps. When I saw this picture I thought I was looking at a ridiculously wasteful bag of flavored sushi dips when in reality I'm being informed that they're cakes of some kind? What is this? <laughs> that's why I love you. I actually I looked at it and I thought Really? That's how you're congratulating yourself with pink chocolate? It's, it's pink hideous. Pink chocolate? It's a, it's, it's a crime, okay? It is a crime, yes. And perhaps the most important question of all, why the fuck is a cryptocurrency exchange tweeting about ambiguous sweets? Did their lending service run dry so fast that they're trying to appease us with chocolates? I, Zachy Hennessy, at the Sonic Wombat on Twitter, will not rest until I get these answers or one of these gift bags because I'm a journalist and I have journalistic integrity but I also really love candy. L name the movie. This transgression will not abide. Thank you. Okay, yes. Okay, <laughs> are you ready? Aside, that aside, it's a lot for me, but that aside, are you ready for your daily holy shit courtesy of John McAfee? Because I am just, uh, yeah, hold we're on. We're gonna get right into it. Let's go. Here in London, uh, there are dudes that, um, uh, you know, uh, get uh, a little proud-like uh, over their weed, uh, even pissy, you know, the, you know the type, the type that uh, goes... I'm, I'm a little strange over Sharon. I mean, you know what I mean. I mean, it's, it's the mouth thing. You know what I mean. Uh, yeah, we know exactly what you fucking mean. What you mean is you would leave here and in an instant be deep-throating some woman with your tongue, knowing full fucking well she could easily have sucked somebody's dick just a moment before. Now, yeah, this is what we know. Thank you very much. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. It's a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. I, it is a lot. We need to let this sink in. Wait a sec. I, <laughs> I need my mom to explain some things to me after this one. <laughs> Holy shit! Did anyone ask for his thoughts? on people who don't want to pass their bloods. And I'm not... No, but I, I literally feel violated right I, now. I'm not, when I ask that... I really that, do, yes. When I ask that, I'm not being rhetorical. I actually want to know who incited this horrifying video. Also, are we really going to watch the whole video where the old man sits in a tinfoil room and talks about weed and oral sex and not address the expressionless sweatshirt man looming over him in the background? Because if we're not... I just want to know. That's fine, but I just want to make sure that we're not going to talk about the scary looming man whose face never, never moves. Never moves. What does he have to be on to not blink? It's what so is he horrifying. on? Okay. Um, yes. Wow. Wow. Yo, but in all honesty, Johnny makes a good point. I can't stand those dudes that get a little proud, like over their weed, comma even prissy. Yeah, I know that gets me every single just time. The worst, that huh? and a man looking like an ISIS operator standing Oof. behind my back. Not saying a word. What is the narrative behind this? Who wrote the script? Is that what is it saying? Oral he sex. He doesn't appear in oral any sex of the other videos. Oral sex and somebody who plays ISIS, though, in you know, in a camouflage that he can also go and hunt deer in the United States with. I'm losing it. Please continue. Horrifying. Horrifying. Um, yes. Wow. <laughs> 
on some lighter news. Yes. Ever since the scourge on this planet that was Alanis Morissette's runaway hit, Ironic, from her 1995 album, Jagged Little Pill, Love that I've song. been much more appreciative of true irony. Keep in mind that the song was released a year before I was born, which means that I'm a seasoned connoisseur of irony. Rain on a wedding day, not ironic. Good advice you just didn't take, not ironic. This Bitcoin wallet that holds fiat currency, that's ironic. <laughs> What's next? A wallet with a dollar sign that you keep your cold Bitcoin wallet in? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, isn't it ironic? Yeah, <laughs> I had to because I thought you wanted to sing with me. No, no. No, you do not have to have a fake leather wallet to hold your Bitcoin in, people. And Zach, you just sucked our blockchain. Thank you, Mr. Hennessy. Yeah. And um, uh, that was Block TV. Yeah. For more news and updates, follow us on Twitter. 